The British royal family is set to host a highly anticipated state visit from their majesties the Emperor and Empress of Japan. Hello, welcome to Royal Diaries. Before we continue please subscribe to the channel for more British royal family news. Also, like this video and join our community here at Royal Diaries so you don't miss the latest updates. This momentous occasion, scheduled to take place from Tuesday, June 25th to Thursday, June 27th, 2024, comes amidst a flurry of political activity, as the United Kingdom gears up for a general election on July 4th. Buckingham Palace has confirmed the details of the upcoming state visit, outlining the meticulous planning and coordination that have gone into ensuring the success of this historic event. The Japanese royals will arrive in the UK on Saturday, June 22nd, allowing them time to participate in a private program of events before the official welcome on Tuesday. At the heart of this diplomatic endeavour is Prince William, the Prince of Wales, who will play a pivotal role in welcoming the Emperor and Empress. On the morning of their arrival, the future king will greet the Japanese royals at their hotel before accompanying them to the official ceremonial welcome at Horse Guards Parade. There, King Charles III and Queen Camilla will formally receive the guests, before the royal party travels to Buckingham Palace. The state visit will be marked by a grand state dinner at the palace, attended by senior members of the British royal family. The following day, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh will join the Emperor and Empress for a banquet hosted by the Lord Mayor at the Guildhall. The final day of the visit will see the Japanese royals bid farewell to the King and Queen at Buckingham Palace before travelling to Windsor, where the Emperor will privately lay a wreath on the tomb of Queen Elizabeth II in the King George VI Chapel. Notably absent from the roster of royal participants is the Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton who is currently receiving treatment for cancer. The palace has announced that Lieutenant General James Bucknell will replace the princess at the upcoming Colonel's Review on June 8, ahead of Trooping the Colour. The royal family's official engagements have been carefully curated in the wake of the upcoming general election, with the palace stating that events that could divert or distract from the campaign will be postponed. As a politically neutral figure, it is crucial that the monarch remains impartial and does not influence the outcome of the election. Against the backdrop of this delicate political landscape, the state visit from Japan stands as a testament to the enduring strength of the British monarchy's international relations. With Prince William at the forefront, the royal family will undoubtedly demonstrate the grace and diplomacy that have defined their institution for centuries captivating the world's attention and strengthening the bond between the United Kingdom and Japan. At the forefront of this diplomatic endeavour is Prince William, the Prince of Wales, who has been entrusted with a crucial role in the proceedings. On the morning of the Japanese royal's arrival, the future king will personally greet the emperor and empress at their hotel, before accompanying them to the official ceremonial welcome at Horse Guards Parade. There, King Charles III and Queen Camilla will formally receive the guests, before the royal party embarks on a procession to Buckingham Palace. The state visit will be marked by a grand state dinner at the palace, attended by senior members of the British royal family. The following day, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh will join the Emperor and Empress for a banquet hosted by the Lord Mayor at the Guildhall. The final day of the visit will see the Japanese royals bid farewell to the King and Queen at Buckingham Palace before travelling to Windsor, where the Emperor will privately lay a wreath on the tomb of Queen Elizabeth II in the King George VI Chapel. Notably absent from the roster of royal participants is the Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton, who is currently receiving treatment for cancer. The palace has announced that Lieutenant General James Bucknell will replace the princess at the upcoming Colonel's Review on June 8, ahead of Trooping the Colour. The palace has made it clear that the princess will return to work only when given the green light by her doctors. The royal family's official engagements have been carefully curated in the wake of the upcoming general election, with the palace stating that events that could divert or distract from the campaign will be postponed. As a politically neutral figure, it is crucial that the monarch remains impartial and does not influence the outcome of the election. 
Against the backdrop of this delicate political landscape, the state visit from Japan stands as a testament to the enduring strength of the British monarchy's international relations. With Prince William at the forefront, the royal family will undoubtedly demonstrate the grace and diplomacy that have defined their institution for centuries, captivating the world's attention and strengthening the bond between the United Kingdom and Japan. The Japanese royals will arrive in the UK on Saturday, June 22, allowing them time to participate in a private program of events before the official welcome on Tuesday. The emperor and empress will be greeted with the traditional pomp and pageantry associated with state visits, including a military parade and a carriage procession through the streets of London. One of the highlights of the visit will be a state banquet hosted by King Charles and Queen Camilla at Buckingham Palace. This lavish event will bring together members of the British royal family, government officials, and distinguished guests to celebrate the strong ties between the two nations. In addition to the official events, the Emperor and Empress will also have the opportunity to engage in more intimate activities. They are scheduled to visit Kew Gardens, where they will explore the world-renowned Botanical Gardens, and the Victoria and Albert Museum, where they will admire the museum's impressive collection of art and design. The state visit will also include a second banquet, this time hosted by the Lord Mayor of London at the Guildhall. The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh will join the Japanese royals for this event, further emphasising the significance of the occasion. As the nation grapples with the upcoming general election, the royal family has taken measures to ensure that the state visit does not interfere with the democratic process. Engagements that could be perceived as influencing the outcome of the election have been postponed, and the monarch will remain steadfastly neutral throughout the proceedings. Despite the political backdrop, the state visit from Japan promises to be a true celebration of the enduring friendship between the two countries. With Prince William leading the charge and the full support of the royal family, this historic event is poised to captivate the world and strengthen the bonds between the United Kingdom and Japan for years to come. The British royal family typically remains non-political and avoids the public eye during election campaigns to allow the focus to remain on the electoral process and key issues. Ahead of an upcoming state visit by the Emperor and Empress of Japan, the palace was awaiting guidance from the UK's foreign office. The Japanese imperial couple is scheduled to arrive in the UK on June 22 and undertake private engagements. The state visit will officially commence on June 25 when Prince William welcomes them on behalf of his father, King Charles III. Prince William previously led the royal welcome during the 2023 state visit of the South Korean president. It's unclear if Catherine, Princess of Wales, will participate in the Japanese state visit, as she has been largely out of the public eye this year while undergoing cancer treatment. King Charles and Queen Camilla will formally welcome the Japanese royals at Horse Guards Parade, and the two couples will then travel to Buckingham Palace. The itinerary includes a lunch, a visit to the royal collection, and a wreath laying at Westminster Abbey. In the evening, the King and Queen will host a state banquet for the Emperor and Empress. Other working royals like the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh are expected to attend. Thanks for watching till the end. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and join our community for more updates.